A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's video is with no other than my client with Nails Growing Upward. If you haven't seen that video yet, then you definitely want to check it out. There were three entire corrections all in one video, and today's video will have two. I'm starting off by taking down the length of her nails and removing the old coating. There was only a little bit of lifting on her middle finger, uh, and if you all remember, that was the problematic nail that won't hold any material. Therefore, since we cannot do extensions on all of her nails, we will be correcting them today with gel polish. And I already love her nails in a square shape. Further to our cleanup, I'm cleaning up her cuticle area with my nail drill using a flame bit with red abrasion, which is fine abrasion. After our cleanup, I am passing through with a dehydrator and non-acidic primer. Further, I am applying a non-acidic base coat. Then over the non-acidic base coat, I'm applying a semi-transparent milky gel polish for our coating. I'm applying only one layer, but rather generously, in order for everything to be coated evenly without any bald spots. After the polish has fully cured, it's changed from that slightly blue color to a true white, which is typically what happens when using milky gel polishes. Further, I will be creating a beautiful gradient effect with these two colors here. However, I'm not coating her entire nail, but rather creating decorative lines down the middle, feathering out the color. After I have let the purple dry, I'm going in with this beautiful pink. Both of these colors are very bright and rich in pigment, so for everything to look a little softer, I've mixed the pink a little with a top coat.
Further, my client and I decided to highlight this area by creating a contour in black. I was going to use the silicone lines, however the lines are all different widths, and I don't have enough for all of her nails. Therefore, I'm creating these black lines by hand. But we are not done quite yet. I'm taking these small silver elements and adding some little stickers. They were really easy to apply and now I am simply going over everything in a top coat. And here they are. I really liked how they turned out and so did my client. However, after about four weeks, these nails came back. And yes, at first glance, everything looks pretty good, uh, but my client told me that the corners of her square nails really bothered her. And the edge on her middle finger's nail was completely chipped. And I wasn't so happy when I saw her nails from the side. The free edge on these upward growing nails looks really way down. Therefore, we've decided to return to an oval shape, so I'm starting off by removing the old coating. By the way, it's super easy to remove these little details. All I'm doing is turning the nail drill on its side and filing the material down by the little studs. This way they won't be flying all over the place. There is a little bit of lifting by the cuticle area and this is due to her hands moisture. After cleaning up her cuticle area, I am thoroughly dehydrating her nails and applying a non-acidic primer. Last time I applied a non-acidic primer and base, but as we found out, this option isn't the best for these type of nails. So I'm using a non-acidic base that lifts any nail flakes and quickly evaporates. I'm also applying a non-acidic base. The non-acidic primer will stop working while it's on her nail plate after it has evaporated, but the non-acidic base will be working on her nails as long as it's there. So we'll see how this works on her nails. Nails like these demand more product and pretty much in one area, which is the middle of the nail. In order not to accentuate her nails going upward, we have chosen this beautiful deep black polish. And on top of this beautiful color, we are applying a sparkly top with these gorgeous flakes. And we just couldn't decide which color of sparkles to go with, so we went with two different ones. I might just have to recreate this design for New Year, it's so sparkly and perfect for an evening party. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.